Coach, does it feel like a little bit of a tease that you have this fun finish for all this and now you got to wait till the fall for the real action? Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a really positive day. I know it's a day for our guys to really celebrate a lot of hard work. Obviously, come out here in Giza Field, put on the real jerseys, get in, get in front of some fans and just see how we perform. And, you know, I mean, obviously, there's good, there's bad, there's indifferent. But at the end of the day, I, I thought we had a tremendous spring and I can't wait to really coach these guys again come fall. You talked I think last week about just the art that goes into you know wanting to see these guys tackle and what yeah. they can do but also wanting to keep them safe can you kind of speak to some of the injuries in the first quarter well we got off to a slow that? start on the injury track i was uh ready to just keep the clock rolling for a while there but uh leo's gonna be in surgery i think it'll be out six to eight weeks but we'll get him back pretty quick i think uh the other guys will be just kind of some ankle sprains and a couple little football things so we'll get those guys back out there there's always some cost benefit to having these things but i think these guys need it they need to be be put in this type of environment. Coach, uh, at this point, spring camp's all wrapped up. I know the question on a lot of people's mind is, has any quarterback pulling away, pulled away here at the end of spring ball? Well, I, I told those guys going in, this would be a big day. And I do want to go back and watch the film. Obviously, the old lines are mixed. The receivers are mixed. It's hard to really get a flow. And I think that's what you saw a little bit today on offense. You know, until we got really towards the end, we didn't have much of a flow going. So today's a hard eval. You know, obviously, through the first 14, I love where those two guys at. And they'll be, keep, you know, competing all the way to game one. Okay. Uh, the running back position, I know you wanted to run the ball. Yeah. It's been adamant about that today. You got some big plays from Javinsky, Wayshon, Dylan Payne. Just uh, what are your thoughts on those guys? This is the first time we we're really that explosive in the run game. And you saw what happened. As soon as those things start happening, the offense starts flowing. So Wayshon, that, that might have been the play of the spring. You know, there was a couple of them, but that was fun to watch. Great uh, for a young guy. Dylan's just a workhorse, and I think Javinsky continues to get better. So uh, it's a good blend, obviously unfortunate with Leo, but uh, excited about what all four of those guys can do. Uh, adding on kind of to the quarterback, uh, I saw obviously Gardner Minshew is yeah. here. He took a photo op with some of the uh, in the quarterback room. What does it mean to have his presence here back on the Palouse? Well, there's about a thousand people out there. They don't want my autograph. I know that. That's excited. I, I told him just how appreciative I am. And in this moment and what it means to Washington State that he would invest his time to come back here. He just had an amazing message for the team this morning about his really short experience here, but how it shaped really the rest of his life. Uh, obviously, Jack and Ruben, you know, Jack was getting after me about calling too many sacks. You know, that, that makes sense. But I'm just really appreciative to those guys. And this is a pivotal moment at Washington State. You know, to have those guys want to come back here and invest their time in us is really important. And finally, obviously, the, the spring game here, finally, to wrap up spring camp. Uh, how does it feel to have kind of the culmination of all these practices, um, wa watching, working like nobody's watching, you know, all pay off here today? Well, I think it's huge. And But the bottom line is we got to get so much better. You know, I don't say that in a negative way. I say it in an exciting way. We have a lot of pieces that we got to continue to develop. And these guys got to take this summer training as serious as they can. There's a lot of skills that we need to develop, uh, but looking forward to kind of the makeup of this team. And I think we got all the pieces to go out there and, and stack wins. I mean, I know you don't give juice after the scrimmage, but <laughs> if you had to pick an offense, defensive MVP of sorts, who are you going with? Well, I'd, I would say Ram Stevenson caught my eye today. You know, he probably said, coach, I would have had four or five sacks if this thing was live. But, you know, I just think his, he's one of those guys. Third year now, he's progressed better and better. You know, and I would think maybe offense, obviously, Wayshawn had the splash play. You know, I, I'm just really proud of what the offensive line did. They were workhorses today. There's only five guys on each side of those teams. So um, not all positive, but I know we're getting better at the offensive line, and I think that's what it's going to take to win games. You know, we obviously saw in past years you get into situations like this, you know, a lot of the guys, maybe the RJs and the BJs, they're not doing a whole lot. They're taking a drive. Yeah. It did seem like for the most part everyone was in for at least yeah. a half or so, and then, yeah. you know, we saw Buda, Kyle kind of ease up a little bit. You know, we've talked about all, all spring about the competition. How much do you think that kind of is the, the final stamp of how much it breeds it and seeing that out here? Yeah, we told those guys, be ready to perform. And I think that's an important piece of it. And, you know, whether it's Kyle, we, you know, we limited Goose a little bit. But some of those guys, we got to go out there and see them, especially quarterback or receiver, you know, in a game flow to come back to sit down and go out there and perform and do it for a couple hours. So everything's a test to so make sure when we get to Saturdays, you know, our guys are ready to play. I know you want to get someone figured out in the uh, kick and uh, punt return game. Seems like. Well, maybe. then we got the punter solved. I mean, I that was what? That rolled 45 yards? Uh, that's, that's pretty good. I was yeah. trying to give some field position to the Crimson team to come back, and it just kept rolling. I, 
you know, obviously we'll continue to evaluate the return guys. I think we got some dynamic people. I mean, we didn't utilize that uh, skill set today, but you know, I think we got a bunch of guys that can go out there and do it. I'm curious about uh, Jalen Edmond and the way he's come along. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of his spring overall? He's been a pretty, pretty big bright spot, you know, because moving Jackson created that hole at nickel, and for a young guy to come out here and to execute that way, but also, I don't know, what is he, 165 pounds soaking wet to hit like that and cover like that, and really, I mean it. He's been just. He's a stalwart. He's steady in every situation and circumstance. So to have that in a freshman already, talk about a guy that has a competitive edge to him. Jalen's been great. Coach, I mean, everything kind of leads up to the spring game. I mean, what's, I guess, next for you guys now, and what are going to be some of those focuses uh, early on in the fall camp? Well, right up? now it's finals. You know, we got finals week next week. You know, the guys got to make sure they're finishing strong, you know, on and off the field. And then I'm a big part of telling these guys, like, you got to take a break. Our guys will be at home for a couple of weeks. They'll be off, and you got to get your mind away from football. You got to rest and recover your body because when we come back after Memorial Day, it's time to get after it. And then Coach Ben, through the summer, really has these guys, and we're sharpening a lot of skills. So that's going to be the next focus. And but we're attacking finals first. Coach, if you don't mind me asking, you had a few players, former players, who got some really good news this morning. Do you have anything to say to them, or just how you feel about? Well, it was a heck of an hour yeah. there. If I'm being honest with you. Uh, those three guys are football players, you know, and I'm just telling you, Jaden Hicks, Shaw Smith, and, and BJ are going to play in that league for a long time. I don't care where they got drafted, um, and I'm sure Jaden's a little bit disappointed, but at the end of the day, those guys are primed, they're ready, and I guarantee them they're trained better than the rest. I mean that. They're ready for this moment, and really proud of those guys because part of coming here is to be able to develop guys into big-time NFL players, and that's what those three are going to be. All right, guys, go Cougs. Oh, you good? Okay. How much of this was huge just for your coaching staff, too, to get a game-like setting as well? well? I think that's the funny part. You know, we split up the staffs, and trust me, they're the most competitive guys out there. So we've had, we had, through the course of the game, six different people calling plays. It wasn't just Ben and Jeff. It was good for Coach Edwards to do it, obviously for Coach Malone to do it. They got aspirations to be coordinators. You know, the end-of-game situation, how to run the clock. You know, I was kind of out of it. I wasn't even on the headset today. So I just love to see how their brains work and the things that they're communicating about but proud of our coaching staff you know like i said we got a lot of work to do but we're off in the right direction thank you so much coach. all right thank you guys go cougs